So if you're considering making the city beautiful your home, or if you already live in Orlando and need to make a move within town, you've likely faced the big question, should I buy new construction or should I opt for a resale home? Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Rob Sack with the Orlando Home Squad brokered by Sirhant, and today we're diving into the pros and cons of buying new or buying news to help you make the best decision for your future home. The Orlando landscape has drastically changed over the last 10 years, and so has the way builders design and construct homes and neighborhoods. So in order to make the decision that's right for you, you need to understand the differences. So let's break down those key differences so you can determine what's right for you. So with new construction, the first key is customization. Now buyers often have the opportunity to select their preferred lot, floor plans, any structural options like a larger covered patio, optional loft, extra bathroom, and so on. You also have input on design options and you can select finishes and have more options of materials like flooring, bathrooms, fixtures, lighting, etc. This allows you the opportunity to truly make the home yours and create exactly what you want from the start. The second key is modern amenities. New New homes are typically equipped with the latest technology and building standards, including energy efficient appliances, smart home features like high speed internet, smart lighting, pre-wired audio, things like that. Another key is less immediate maintenance. With everything being brand new, homeowners can expect fewer repairs and maintenance issues in the short term. You have things like new appliances, new roof, piping, etc. So all of those things will not need to be replaced anytime in the near future. Now, all the functioning components of the home will be brand new and work as intended without issue. Builders are going to offer warranties. Now, many new homes come with builder warranties that cover the entire home, including the functioning components for one year or more. And most builders will warranty the foundation and other structural elements for several years after. Now, this is a huge key and it's affordable home insurance. Newer homes often have significantly lower home owner insurance costs due to the fact that there is less risk for the insurance company because everything is well new. They know the roof, water heater, pipes, electrical aren't going to need to be replaced for a very long period of time. Also, building codes change from time to time and builders have to adhere to those changes. So generally, newer homes often offer greater structural integrity assurances. The next important key is increased energy efficiency. Now, this includes things like energy efficient appliances, geothermal water heaters, tankless water heaters, and so on. Increased insulation like radiant barrier, spray foam insulation, block fill installation, low E windows, etc. And some builders are equipping their homes with solar panels. There are a lot of benefits that come with being the original owner. So that is a very important key. One, you are being the first to use everything in that house. Now, some clients are obsessed with being the only one to use their toilet or shower. It's weird, I know, but people surprisingly care about that kind of stuff. You typically get to know everything about that house and there are no surprises, which is a big benefit to some people. The next key is better amenities. Amenities. New home communities typically offer newer and arguably better amenities than resale home communities. Rising demand for residential amenities has pushed builders to offer a lot more than your typical community pool. Today we're seeing entire putt-putt courses, water parks, lazy rivers and lagoons like Whaley Platte, which is being constructed over in St. Cloud in 2024. We're even seeing race car tracks. All right, the next important component is newer infrastructure. Now in newly developed areas featuring new construction homes, you'll find brand new infrastructure, including streets, sewers, and water mains. Now, this modern infrastructure contrasts with older neighborhoods where such systems are more likely to deteriorate and require replacement in the near future. Okay, let's break down some of the cons of living in new construction. First off, timeline. It may take a year or more to permit and construct your house. And there may also be delays due to unforeseen circumstances like supply chain issues or an act of God. During the pandemic, there were massive delays delays due to supply chain issues. I had clients waiting over two years for their home to be completed. That makes it extremely challenging to navigate and time your living situation, especially if you need to sell your current home before you can buy your new home. Or if you're renting, you need to align the lease end date. All of these things pose significant challenges. New homes are more expensive. Now, depending on where you move, you can expect to pay anywhere from 10 to 25% over market value for a similar sized resale home. That 
one reason alone may price you out of new construction altogether, especially if you need to live in a certain area or are working within a fixed budget. The next key component is location. This is a big con. New home communities are typically further away from local hotspots in major metropolitan areas. And unless you plan on buying a resale home, knocking it down, and building custom from the ground up, you may have fewer options in terms of the location of your new home. Lot sizes and layout. Now, land has become more scarce in Orlando, and as the population continues to surge, the lot sizes are getting smaller and smaller, and buyers are paying premiums for everything. Larger lots mean you have to pay a lot of premium. If you want a front-loading garage, hey, lot premium. If you want a lake view or conservation view, lot freaking premium. They're charging for everything these days and you need to be ready for that. HOA assessments. Now this is another big con that we're starting to see in new construction homes. HOAs have become a hot topic in Florida lately and a lot of my clients want to explore every non-HOA option before even considering living in an HOA community. New home communities typically start out with a set monthly, quarterly, or annual fee. There may be even multiple fees and multiple HOAs within larger communities. Those fees will typically cover different things, different amenities, maintenance, common area taxes. However, over time, those fees and assessments may change, and the lack of resident control and transparency of those fees may literally drive you insane. You're going to be living in dirt. Depending on when you buy your new construction home, you may end up living in dirt for a while. If you buy at the very beginning of the construction phase, you will have to deal with construction vehicles noise, dirt, unwanted appearance, etc. Now this one is often pretty self-explanatory, but it's something that is often overlooked. So if you think it will negatively impact your quality of life, you need to take that into consideration. Some of the promised amenities may not have started construction, so that massive pool or lazy river may not come into fruition for several years. You don't get to know who your neighbors are. This might not be an issue for some people, but others may want to know exactly what kind of neighborhood and residence you are going to be sharing the space with. Imagine you are a family with younger kids and you want to move into a neighborhood that has similarly aged children for your kids to play with. So it's something to consider. This is especially true if you're buying early on in the construction phase. You have to be willing to roll the dice and hope that you get the type of neighbors you desire. Expect to pay higher closing costs. In new construction, builders are not typically paying their fair share when it comes to closing costs. Some costs, which are equally split in a resale contract like dock stamps, recording fees, title insurance, those are not being split by the builder, and the buyer is typically left to pay all of these fees. However, in lieu of splitting these costs, the builders are usually offering some kind of closing cost credit to the buyer to offset their total obligation. However, this amount varies from builder to builder and requires the buyer to use their preferred lender. Also, in times of high demand, the builder might reduce or even remove the credit altogether. Okay, that about wraps it up on new construction pros and cons. Keep in mind, these are just a few of the bigger key points. Now, your specific situation may present a different set of benefits and challenges to purchasing new construction. Now, if you would like to watch the video on pros and cons of buying a resale home, you can click the link in the description to watch that video. Now, if you found this information helpful, please like this video and consider subscribing. If you haven't had a chance to explore our page yet, we invite you to take a look. We offer a wealth of valuable content focused on everything related to Orlando, from lifestyle, real estate, restaurants, home maintenance tips and tricks, and more. Also, we are a top real estate team, so if you're moving to or within the Orlando area, myself or one of my teammates are dedicated to providing you exceptional buying and selling experience. I am Rob Sack. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone.